Welcome back, lovely people. Oh, hang on. Uh, here I am. Because maybe I'm just a simulation. <laughs> and that's the debate for today. Real or just an illusion? So for many years, great minds have asked that question. Is what we perceive as reality real? Or are we just living in a simulation? And the conclusion is 50-50. There's equal evidence that what we see is real or what we perceive is actually a sophisticated computer simulation. And if life, the universe, and everything is just a simulation, it answers some very big questions, such as how big is the universe? All we can perceive is the so-called visible universe, but what lays outside? And why is the speed of light the fastest that anything can travel? And probably the best evidence that we're all just programmed is nothing really exists. We're all just a vibrating magnetism buried deep down into the center of every atom in your body, in your life, in this world, in the universe, and there's nothing there. Recently, Elon Musk has not only been building electric cars, but thinking about reality. Well, the argument for the simulation, I think is quite strong because if you assume any improvement at all over time, any improvement, 1%, 0.1%, just extend the time frame, make it a thousand years, a million years, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. What would a what, civilization, if you count it, if you're very generous, civilization is maybe seven or 8,000 years old, if you count it from the first writing. This is nothing, this is nothing. Um, so if you assume any rate of improvement at all, then games will be indistinguishable from reality. And the wonderful chap, Neil deGrasse Tyson, has views on a simulated reality. Computing power is growing rapidly. Right. We create simulations of worlds. We have video games with characters that are inside the video game. Right. Imagine a day where you can simulate a world so perfectly with life forms, humans, so well mm -hmm. that you can recreate every single neurosynaptic thought you could have, but now you're in the simulation on the computer. So, including the perception of free will. Well, there you have it. Because then, so now you would have enough computing power to imbue the Sims inside of the program with all of the human traits that we possess now. Correct. Not only our human traits, Not but the world. But the world. The world itself. Right. And you don't have to have all the world existing there at all times. Right. That might be an unrealistic amount of computing power. Right. You just need- Enough the, of the world that they see around them. That they see around them. Right. So you want to start digging. and oh, that's so funny. And haven't put the earth there. Just, there's a flag that goes up in the programmer and they say, oh, need more earth. And so, right. so they put earth beneath you while so, you can keep digging. It's like the Truman Show. Yeah, well, for example. For, right. Okay, okay. Cool. Or doesn't Minecraft, you can build or stuff. Or Minecraft. Minecraft, right. Oh, that is Minecraft. Right, right, okay. God, that guy's a brilliant genius. Okay. So, and we went to the moon. It's okay, let's make sure what, the moon is what, there. Right. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why we can't travel faster than the speed of light. Because if we could, we'd be able to get to another galaxy before they could program, they could program oh! that galaxy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so is the nightmare that we call 2020 really a bored teenager in Sim Universe pressing F8 to add COVID-19 to his simulated game of life? Or is it real? I guess. The truth is out there. Stay tuned for more breaking science on the Professor Simon channel, and you might enjoy this film.